everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna unbox the package that I received, which is the uh, Cola Lovita birthday. And su surprisingly, made in Korea. It's, it says on the box. So I was kind of amazed that when I see that, I was like, wow, I didn't know we can still find like product that's outside of China, Vietnam, Cambodia, and I can find one that is made in Korea in, in United States. So now I'm going to unbox it. I hope this is going to be easy to set up. I think once I set up, um, I hope we're going to use less toilet paper if it's the next pandemic kick in. If it's supermarket one of toilet paper, I don't have to worry anymore. And this thing cost me like a, a Home Depot uh, around $550. It comes with little new water hose. Wow, I don't have to buy anything. I can use it way off. And then the water supply two holes. One connect to the main one, one's connect to the bidet. Instruction manual installations. The reason why I choose this one out of the other, um, there's a thousand dollar one I didn't even pick because um, I want to try this one first. It's because they don't have a side panel on the seat um, and then new screws. Wow, they give you everything pretty much. Oh, so this is the remote control. Uh, yeah, the thousand dollar version um, is kind of LCD. I think this is still good enough back and white. Um, I like this style more. And they give you a battery as well. Yeah, this one is, they paint that on the spec is um, constantly has hot water. That's a dryer and it's automatic cleaning the, uh, the water hose as well each time using with the LED light on the, uh, the seat and heated seated and as well as the uh, slow close. So it looks amazing. It's pretty huge and light. Oh, I'm happy. Luckily the, uh, what's it called? The outlet, the power outlet. I mean, the cord is not that long. Obviously, I would say probably four feet long. And I'm glad that I have a power, the left side, the same side as the cord. So it should be long enough. And we'll get started and set it up. It's very simple, taking it out. Here, even though they don't require the uh, humber tape, I'll just wrap it. As long as there's a wrapper in here, in theory, you don't need to put that humber tape, but I'll just put it anyway, just in case. I think this should be good. very cool. It has blue LED light on it. I'm gonna plug this. here and then we'll hook this back up here all right I think it's tightening Yeah, 
I saw earlier, I have those, um, when, when I turn on the valve, um, I have those water pipe hammer noise, it freaked me out, so I thought this, um, this thing, the existing one, the connector to the water, to this, is old, so we paste it, and it happened the same thing. Um, so I Google it, um, there's two possibility that the main valve, uh, the rubber is old that needs to be replaced or um, you need to turn all the way on for the bidet to work. So I immediately app out the first choice because this thing is, this toilet is like five years old. So it cannot be the rubber ran out that fast because my existing one has like over 10 years, I don't have repaid. I don't have issue after replacing a toilet, so I let me turn all the valve on and it solves the hammer lock. So when I flush it, now I don't have the hammer lock. So that was a little tiny incident that I had um, earlier that kind of freaked me out. So I'm gonna close this and Hopefully everything should work the way I'm looking for. Okay. So let me take this out. Yeah, I think the seat wise is... Oh shoot, this is crazy. So, what did I do? If you press it, it's all mad open. I hear like um, a very low noise behind heating up the water because it says it's like constant heating. So that's a, okay, that's very interesting. On the remote control, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a seat cancel, auto seat cover, seat cover, and cover. Oh, that's very interesting. You don't have to touch anything. So, if I press open, it's on my on. Wow. So it's just the seat cover. Holy cow. Okay. I think that's cancel, I would say. Auto. Okay, so there's a power saving. Here you go. Pressing here. It'll tell you the temperature control, the seat control. If I keep pressing, this going up is gonna warm your seat. Now it's nothing. Set in the middle, and then the water. You can select the temperature here as well. Right now it's the middle. I'll set everything in the middle for now. Oh yeah, I can feel it. The seat is warm. So you can also select the water pressure and dryer temperature as well. Lasso position, front of back. Oh my god, this is so cool. Yeah, so I have set the um, the toilet LED light, so it automatically detected when you don't have light in the bathroom. So it's automatic sent. There's a sensor will sense the light and will turn it on or off based on the sensor surrounding. There you go. It's automatic when it's detect. People, it's so cool. So you don't have to touch the toilet seat or you can manually touch the button again to like turn off and turn off. Right now I'm gonna set it automatically. So one thing I'm kind of disappointing is the sound is too loud, but I don't think I can anywhere can adjust the noise each time you press. Yeah, so I install, I put my remote control on here next to the toilet seat. If I make it further down, then you're gonna see more clear. I would say the installation is very simple. If you're experienced like me, have a hammer noise uh, when you turn on the water valve, don't be afraid because that's what I got. I got paranoid and then just keep turning higher, then you, the problem will solve the hammer um, noise from the water, water pipe or water valve. Uh, I just test the, uh, the tortoise, the bidet. It was very awesome. It worth the price. Uh, yeah, 550, uh, 550 is kind of expensive, but you pay what you're getting for. It's quality, quality, and quality. And 
All the good feature is it's automatic open the seat for you. You don't have to touch the toilet seat cover. I set it to automatic be um, when it sends the human it'll automatic turn on and when the light is off there will be an LED light uh, earlier that I show you. Uh, we'll turn on the toilet bowl. Um, the seat by is very hot. Uh, the temperature you can set it right now is summertime. I'm not gonna turn it on. It was burning my my thigh earlier. I mean it's not like really burning but it's hot. Um, I didn't even set to the highest yet. Uh, so it's very good. Um, and then the the order lines um, features, but I haven't tested it out yet. I never have. Um, but I heard on the review saying that it's good. You don't smell much anymore after you finish your business. Uh, I'm looking forward to try that. And then the cleaning, there's two button. That's one's just for your butt washed. Um, that's an oscillating mode and normal mode. Um, and you can also adjust the pressure. The higher the pressure is feel like massaging your butt at the same time while washing. And that's also a um, fun wash button too. It looks like a female icon, but it, it does work. Um, I tried it. The, and you can adjust the, uh, what's it called, the water tube um, in and out. Like, like towards the, not in and out, it's towards the front, towards the back. It does wash to your front. Uh, so it does cover the front, the back, and they do massage as well. And drying, um, I thought like at the beginning when I tried drying the uh, after washing, I thought it was like, wait a second, why does it take so long to dry up? But I just realized you can adjust the, um, the, the control to be higher. And of course, higher the dryer is going to be hotter and then it's dry faster as well. So I overall, I like this, um, the Cola Lovita bidet. But the downside is like, right now I install in a common bathroom. Um, I don't know if that features can adjust. I'm still trying to play around with it. It's the, the beeping noise. Each time you touch a button, you're going to hear a loud beeping sound. So... Imagine, I have a toilet in the uh, in my bathroom. So imagine you use that in the middle of the light. You can beep 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 all the noise. You cannot even go sleep. It's gonna wake you up. It's kind of loud the noise. Um, and then the instruction manual is not that easy to understand. It's not really that clear. Um, so I would just like pay around the the we uh, the the button. Um, and then to figure out what it does for each and then we'll go from there. Yeah, definitely like, like some button, um, they misprinted the order. Uh, let's say the front wash and the back wash is got opposite when I'm reading the, uh, got reversed when I read the instruction manual as well as the some power auto turn on the toilet seat. Um, it's not really obvious like power saving mode um, on, the, on this on the display here, on this little display, there's a power saving mode um, on, off, on, middle, and high saving mode. But then on the instruction menu, it's not telling you which one is represent is which. So I have to test it out, assuming. Yeah, some of the instruction menu is not that clear. But oh, I love this um, bidet a lot so far. I like it. You're going to use less toilet paper, but when you're going to break even is I don't know because you pay for 550 and you use water and use power saving but at least it gives you it does what it is supposed to be doing so yeah I would recommend oh if you look at it here this is how it looks like in the front the one thing I like about this model is you don't see a control on the seat here. Normally, there's a control here or here. I hate that. I feel like now in a modern world, everything is smart. Why you put a control panel on a side seat? So with this model, half the thing that I want, they don't have the control panel. And they only have a few buttons on here, on the side here, in case you you don't want to touch that um, control panel. It's just power, consumption, drying, 
uh, front wash, back wash, you can control adjusting and that's it. Um, that's why I got this model. Yeah, so that's why I have the comment for this, my new bidet that I got. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next video.